Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for June. All right, so if you enjoyed this tarot reading here today, Sagittarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, but also check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Sagittarius, so you can get the full understanding of what's going on in your life in specific. That's how you can make these weekly tarot readings work or general readings on social media work is by getting readings that does uh, coordinate with your uh, full chart. All right, Sagittarius, so enough of the talking, darling. Let's see what's going on with you guys at this current point in time, Sagittarius. You guys have the Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, as well as the Hermit Energy coming in here for you, Sagittarius. All right. It's an interesting to me. I feel as if you guys are starting to pull out from an energy to uh, go forth towards like closer relationships, Sagittarius. I see like this message by where it's just like you make the hard choice and like putting distance between you, yourself, and a situation that... Uh, you've really thought long and hard on uh what how to handle this relationship i feel like they were you consider them like family here all right you gave them several chances you opened your heart up to them in numerous ways i feel such a curious and i feel as if for you you guys are finally starting to just distance yourself from that connection here, Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are realizing that this situation is just fruitless for you, all right? You're realizing that it doesn't matter what it is that you do with this relationship, that they're always going to be finding a way to self-sabotage a good thing, all right? And so uh, some of you guys just need to hear the message, Sagittarius, of just allowing bygones to just be bygones, darling, all right? And so what I feel like where you guys are going to after the fact, Sagittarius, is y'all are going into to um it's like by you leaving something in the past right it's giving me very much so like eight of cups energy whereas like you are asking for more out of what it is that you're wanting you're not interested in settling it's like by you leaving that previous situation it's been unfulfilling some of you guys it's a job that hasn't been paying you enough sagittarius but for the majority of you guys it's some type of relationship in your life platonic family related romantic you know whatever facet that it is what you're going into is like replacing this energy with something that's a lot more trustworthy i feel all right i feel like this energy has been just sitting here waiting to receive you here sagittarius all right but you needed to finally like finally let go of an energy that has really had a soft spot in your heart for quite some time i feel sagittarius all right so let's delve into that energy a little bit more for those that are curious i'm using the necronomicon tarot deck we are we have here the queen of cups the hierophant energy as well as the nine of swords coming in here for you all right who sagittarius so a lot to unpack here darling all right i feel like some of you guys are pretty guarded when it comes to your heart pretty guarded with who it is that you open up to right now due to the fact of what you decide to have that six of swords experience with of course naturally right i feel like what it is that you're going to be attracting is someone that you don't have to overthink on and i feel like you're going to quickly learn that with them for some reason i just hear taurus really loudly but that might so that might even either have strong taurus in their chart or they might just exude remind you of like a taurus energy where they're just really reliable you know with a not that voice crack darling really reliable um very much so is like what you see is what you get with them here now that queen of cups energy with this hierophant this lets you really know that uh while sagittarius you are walking away from that previous relationship that you were really a little bit too understanding towards darling you still continue to grow and benefit from new connections in your life all right that queen of cups hierophant energy lets you know where like it's directly associated with new people or close people in your life that help elevate you all right you are going to be receiving some beautiful guidance in your inner circle to really start uh we're working on your trust issues here all right i feel like for a lot of you guys this new connection coming forward to you sagittarius is really going to show to you that it's okay to trust people it's going to show to you that uh yeah there's a lot of crappy people in this world but darling there's we just hit over now eight billion people on this planet now darling can you believe it there's eight billion plan people on this planet here guarantee you that there's some still some good people darling all right 
and you're going to be manifesting that that's going to be coming forward to you all right so uh be open at this time don't shut yourself off due to the bad apple all right don't let one bad apple ruin the crop for you just because you ate uh one fruit that is overripe doesn't mean that you need to cut yourself off from fruit in general okay sagittarius so what else are y'all manifesting here let's take a look here sagittarius <clears throat> Magician energy, Empress, as well as the Knave of Wands coming in here for you. Hmm. All right. Y'all are very fertile at this time here, Sagittarius. All right. Now, if you are trying to get pregnant, all right, this is or whether you are, you're not a darling. All right. Due to the, this extremely fertile energy that's coming forward with both Magician as well as this Empress, darling. If you're not trying to get pregnant, darling, you need to take extra precautions. And if you are, this would be the week to be really trying it, darling. All right, Sagittarius. Just as a side note. All right. Now, for the majority of you guys here, Sagittarius, y'all are really stepping into this place of creation all right i feel like you guys are met you guys have been really putting your energy into manifesting some type of really solid opportunity i get movement or travel you might be traveling for work or tra having the opportunity to travel when it comes to a new companionship here uh sagittarius and what i want to just be suggesting to you at this time is to really uh really continue putting in the work here all right, because you really have a really solid opportunity that could, I feel as if in a way, like change your life in a way, whether it's through like you meeting somebody through these travels here, Sagittarius, that we were tapping into just prior. All right, it would make a lot of sense with that previous hand uh, that we had for you, Sagittarius. But on top of that, I feel as if like, for many of you guys here, Sagittarius, it's like with this new opportunity that's coming forward to you, it's the sense where it's like, I don't know, like, I feel like you're some of y'all, especially if this is for like work, some of you guys are really either like going to be going into a new field of work or a massive promotion when it comes to your work. Like, I just feel like some type of dynamic in your life greatly improves or greatly gets altered here and it's through something that you have been actively trying to put in the work to have happen you are very attractive at this time here Sagittarius is another thing I want to be pointing out to you so be making sure um I mean darling if you're due to the fact you're being attracted darling you're going to be having some really distant people in general trying to connect with you all right but also Sagittarius People are attracted to you because they're attracted to the power that you are exuding. So make sure, Sagittarius, you know, when you, it's like, it shows to me where it's just like, you know, when you turn on a light and you're out in the country, Sagittarius, and you have all the bugs and mosquitoes and all that get attracted to that light. All right. That's what I kind of feel like is going to be happening where it's like you start really becoming like a shining beacon and you're going to be attracting some beautiful people, beautiful opportunities. All right, but also a bunch of gnats, also a bunch of bugs, honey. All right, so uh, be sure to do those preventative measures. Some of you Sagittarius, I also feel drawn to be telling you, um, as you continue shining in your light here, um, from a spiritual aspect, you're going to be attracting some lower vibrational energies, uh, some lower vibrational spirits. So be sure that you are doing the proper cleansing and shielding. If you you may have been noticing in your physical environment recently of some unexplainable things, whether things are being moved around, electricity problems, or something like that. Right? Like I've never watched the movie Poltergeist, but I just heard Poltergeist. Um, so you might have been just attracting some type of spirit or entity that is just kind of like a troublemaker very impish all right Sagittarius so if you if you've been noticing that do some type of cleansing cleansing of your space cleansing of your aura you know just do some cleansing in that way and just you know re-equip yourself with some protection measures all right we have here coming in after the king of cups king of wands or seven of cups king of wands as well as the eight of darling what did i say earlier sagittarius i says like giving me very much so eight of cups where y'all were not settling anymore here and it's due to the fact that you guys are not settling here sagittarius of where the new opportunity comes in in this key this is literally confirming what it was i was intuitively feeling for you guys but you guys choosing to not settle sagittarius you guys are bringing forth a lot of powerful opportunities that king of wands is literally the epitome of being a shining beacon where you sometimes attract very unattractive energies all right not um 
The Seven of Cups, rather, is a card of where you start dabbling into other things, experimenting with other things after you disconnect from a situation that just wasn't fulfilling to you anymore, Sagittarius. So you guys are greatly rewarded, Sagittarius, in uh, experimenting. All right. You guys are greatly rewarded with being open with new opportunities, new courting, uh, new people that start trying to court you in a romantic or in our business, especially for business here. I want to just be saying Sagittarius, um, this is a really valuable time to be networking because again, you're being so you are so attractive at this time. You are exuding a very powerful light that people want to be around, that people are just naturally gravitated to, all right? Your energy is shifting, your aura is really shining bright at this time, and so you're gaining attention from all the right things, but as well as some of the not so great things as well. But especially in the work environment, if you have the opportunity to network uh, such a tier, you have the opportunity of going out to like a party when it comes to your coworkers or what have you, you would benefit very greatly with that, all right? so. Sagittarius, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you, all right? If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And remember, Sagittarius, if you want to book a private reading with me, I only do my readings through my website, simplyvelka.com, all right? And also be sure to follow my social media, darling, Simply Velka on both TikTok and Instagram. Same as here, darling, all right? So I'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future, Sagittarius. I love you so much, darling. Bye.